Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7. Now today, we have some more RTA for you guys, and this time we are in Season 3. We're in the Ardor Season, and we're going to be climbing our way up and see how far we get. There's an FCC skin that's going to be released, and that is going to be pretty exciting, especially because... Uh, I really like the design of this new FCC skin. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of FCC's original design. But yeah, we're gonna see how far we go. We're currently in our placements here. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe placements should kind of place you, match you with people who were kind of around your level in the previous season. So we'll see how it actually goes. It means I probably won't be, um, I won't be trolling around too much with many meme builds. We're still, we're gonna try to win. But we're probably not going to try super, super hard, depending on depending on what happens here. So we're going up against this guy who's uh, ranked in bronze. But again, early season, you never really know how the ranks uh, are. You don't know how good the players are. So everyone's kind of finding their place, right? So we'll see what he goes for here. He has first pick. Uh, I banned the FCC because I, I really don't like playing against Fallen Cecilia. Her damage mitigation is way too strong. But this guy banned Athletica, so we'll see. Unfortunately, I don't have a Cerise or anything, so it's not like I have many options. Oh my, okay, he ran out of time. <laughs> and uh, it picked Cigarette, so I guess that's kind of cool. We're, we'll go with Arby first pick, we'll just see what happens here. Um, ooh, we'll go Arby, and I don't want to go Seedom, that locks me into trying to cleave. So we'll go Arby, and we'll go... Let's see, what do I want to go here? I want to kind of draft a rose. I want to draft a rose. So we'll see if we can do a slow cleave for this team. Uh, man, I really like, uh, ooh, you know what, I'll go with Flurry. I would really like to go with um, kind of a Flitica, like Flitica and, Ro and Rose as my like kind of last two. Um, but we'll see. Ooh, Tenebria, ah, that's quite interesting. Um, I don't know how fast this is going to be. Tempest runs a good draft on his part. Okay, we'll see how fast that uh, Tenebria is. Kind of excited to see, actually. What am I going to do for this Tempest Surin, though? Tempest Surin is quite an issue. I'll draft a Green Vildred. Let's see if we can pull off a Green Vildred here. <laughs> green Vildred, and... Um... My green Vildred's slow, by the way, so I'm gonna need some CR push. Let's go, we can go Flan. We can go Flan, alright? Let's go Flan here. And then we'll last pick a Rose, and we'll see how it goes. Flan is a CR pusher of some sort, so we can definitely uh, use her to our advantage here. Ooh, Holiday Euphine. Interesting pick. Is he gonna... Uh, this kind of... So the Pergus and this uh, Euphine tell me he's probably gonna ban Arby? Maybe? Or maybe the Clurry. Uh, but I'm gonna last pick Rose here. I just let's see how this goes. This is kind of a bad draft on my part. I'm curious though. We'll see. Um, how fast is this Tenebria? Is the question. I have two Earth units, but how fast is this Tenebria really? Um, but the F10A. Yeah, I might ban the Tenebria. I don't. I think we can fight the rest of these, right? I think we can fight the rest of these. Uh, we will have to see. Unless it's a really fast cigarette, but we'll go with this. Okay, so we have to rely on Vildred here to do some of the some of the heavy lifting. So we'll see how that goes. I'm actually quite curious. So we're probably taking turn one here, because Clurry is 250 speed, right? So I don't think he's outspeeding us. Unless this is for some reason like an insane holiday Euphine. But we will we will see here. The good thing about these CR pushers is that we don't hit anybody, right? We do not hit any of his units here, which is really good. Not being able to hit any of his units here is actually really good. So let's go ahead and defense break. Um, ooh, who do we want to provoke, actually? This is a provoke, right? Let's go ahead and hit... Let's just hit the Euphine here. All right to, dis uh, to dispel the evasion so that Vildred actually has a chance of hitting him because we have a defense break here so I can save Clary's defense break right none of his units have immunity so let's go ahead and do this Ooh, we didn't land a defense break on the on the cigarette uh-oh 
Actually, I don't think this is gonna kill. If this doesn't kill the Sigrid, we're kind of screwed. Because we won't get the follow-up attack. Oh no, never mind, never mind. We got this. We got this. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright, there you guys go. <laughs> Slow cleave working. Doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, you might think, oh, well, you got super lucky you crit the Holiday Yufin there. Um, I did, but my Vildred is also running the new guild artifact, so it gives him an extra, I think it's currently at 16%, extra 16% hit chance. So that's the reason why I had to dispel the evasion from the Holiday Yufin with Clurry. Uh, that just ensured that I was able to hit with Vildred, because otherwise, with evasion and elemental disadvantage, Vildred would have no chance of hitting. Uh, so if I dispelled it, that's an extra 50% chance I have of hitting that Yuffie. And I have two chances to hit her, because Vildra does have a follow-up attack as well. And that's how I'm able to one-shot the t -Surin. So, t -Surin is pretty good uh, against Arbiter Vildred. However, against uh, Green Vildred, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little bit questionable. Okay, we get first pick here. Interesting. Ruel is banned. Alright, let's go ahead and let's first pick Arbiter Vildred. I don't... This is just kind of a... A sta staple pick for me here because it allows me to transition to anything that I want and it forces him to react okay so we'll see what he picks here he banned Ruel I banned FCC so there's really low chance of like a super sustainy tank comp coming out Charon's a good anti Vildred pick uh, we will see though what we're gonna follow up with ooh Lilybet and Charon oh that's so cool I really want to see what this Lilybet can do now unfortunately um, I don't have too many I don't have too many um, fire units that I would like to draft here. Maybe Carrot, but if I do draft Carrot, she has to be kind of a last pick. Like, she'll be like down here with Rose, right? So if I go Rose and Carrot, that could work. We'll try to draft towards that, because he doesn't seem to have any ice units. Um, to go for a K-Ron, then we'll go Flan. Flan's actually really good against K-Ron. We'll go with Flan. Uh, and we will go with a... we'll go with Falcon or Clary again, okay? So let's go with this. Uh, we can't draft Earth Vildred. Oh yeah, there we go. There's another fire unit. So we can't draft Earth Vildred here. Uh, but we will, we will see. We'll see if Carrot can actually work. Carrot can still work here. Oh, Carrot can still definitely work here. So we're gonna draft Rose and Carrot, right? And we could potentially just ban whatever he has at the end. We'll go Rose, and we'll go... We'll go Carrot, okay? So, let's see what he has in store for us here. In the case that he does go ahead and bans, ban Rose, uh, what we can do is just use Flan to, uh, as a CR push. She has a 40% CR push, which is gonna be fairly nice. Okay, Selene got drafted. Do I really care about Selene, though? Uh, if he... not really. Not really, I don't think. Because he can go... he can't kill Carrot. And if he kills Arby, he revives, right? So we're gonna ban the Basar. I feel like Basar is the correct ban here. Flan can take care of Kron. Uh, yeah. Unless this Selene's on like a random EE. Uh, if she hits someone randomly. Okay, Arbiter Vildra is banned just as predicted. That's okay. So this is gonna be a Carrot Cleave comp. Which, let's see if this works. We got Earth Vildra to work, right? So let's see if uh, a Carrot can pull this off here. It's gonna be pretty fun. Alright, so we go first. Ooh, actually, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. What I can do is uh, dispel the immunity from the K-Ron. Alright, so we're gonna go for that. I don't care if I defense break here. Okay, very nice. Yep, missed. Proc my flame barrier. That's perfectly fine. And yeah, we're good. We're good. Carrot is a really good Selene like, bait um, that I like using, because my carrot has pretty high attack. Let's go ahead and defense break everything. And Carrot will go and potentially cleave, right? We'll, we'll see We'll see how this goes. Ooh, defense break on everyone except Selene. Kind of sucks, but we'll be able to land some burns here, so no worries. All right, there we go. Everyone's dying, and Selene gets a turn. Probably gonna kill Flan. I don't know if she can kill Flan. Oh no, she probably can. She has an attack buff, right? Never mind, apparently too tanky here, too tanky. Um, okay, that's good. Falcon Clary had the provoke on him, so he's, yeah, he's dead. Kiron's dead. <laughs> oh, Carrot Cleave pulling through an RTA. You love to see it, guys, you love to see it. 
Uh, yeah, so there you guys go. Celine, that's why I didn't have to ban her, because there's no reason anyone would ban Carrot, right? There's no reason to ban Carrot. Uh, he was going to ban the Arbiter Vildred because he saw the cleave incoming, defense break, attack buff. But little did he know, 200 speed Carrot here with the ability to decimate teams that don't have ice units. Notice how I pick Carrot last. You can't pick her early on in the draft, because if they pick Crow, Seaside Bologna, those types of units, you're absolutely screwed, and you're probably going to lose, right? So she's a very niche pick, but she does work as kind of a weird cleaver with burns. All right, but let's see what this opponent picks here. He bans the Arbiter Vildred, so this guy doesn't like Arby. Um, ooh, Tea Time Tenebria. Level 50. I'm always scared of level 50 units that are not awakened, because it probably means they slapped a bunch of good... Either they're really bad, or they slapped a bunch of good gear on her. All right, so she's like 260 speed or something with high effectiveness. Um, interesting, interesting, though. I don't know what I want to pick into this. I guess we'll go Falcon or Clurry. I'm kind of confident in my Clurry speed. So we'll go Falcon or Clurry here. All right, and what else do I want to go? Ooh, we don't have Arbiter Vildred, but uh, I don't want to go Kron. Kron's not great against uh, Tenebria here. Do I want to go full Bruiser? I can just go Bruiser at this point, right? I can draft Bruisers. However, I'm a little scared. I am a little scared. Uh, we need to we need to pick somebody though. Let's pick. Let's pick Little Queen Charlotte. Let's go with Falcon Clary, Little Queen Charlotte. Let's see what he picks here. Because uh, this Little Queen Charlotte's uh, pick, because I'm kind of trying to deter like an ML Ken, like meme with F10A. Because my LQC can one shot uh, most ML Kens. Alright, he's going speed, Basar, and Seedom. Okay, so we can go. We can save Flitica for a last pick, right? We can last pick a Flitica here. Uh, what would I like to do to counter this Basar and Sidon? Actually, Kron might be a good pick here. I might ban the F10A. Right, Kron might be a good pick here. Holiday Euphine, maybe? But then she might get provoked by the F10A, so that's not the best idea here. You know what? Let's go Let's go for Selene. And let's, let's go for Flitica now. I don't want him to potentially pick Flitica down here, so let's go for Flitica. And Celine. So we have a bunch of single target damage dealers. If he picks a... Ooh, Blingo! Whoa, this guy's insane. Um, but if he picks S10A down here, we have to pick an AoE. It's, it all comes down to what he picks down here. Uh, if he doesn't go... Um, if he doesn't go F10A, let's see. Ooh, Dizzy. Alright. Dizzy is a quite, quite an interesting pick. Um, I think at this point I'm just gonna ban Basar, like I always do. I don't I don't like going against Basars. I can possibly go Rose. I can go Rose and ban Basar. I think that might be the play. I think we can go Rose and then we ban the Basar. So this is just gonna be like a Rose showcase, right? Rose, LQC, and Celine. They can potentially just kill off this entire team here. So we're gonna go ban the Basar. Um and yeah, I think I think that will do. We'll ban the Basar. He bans the Flitica, as uh, as expected. She was kind of my bait pick. I was not expecting her to go through. And this should be this should be good, right? I think this should be good. We have to outspeed this F10A. And we have to get the provoke on her, essentially. Or Rose can go. If Rose outspeeds her, we also win. Okay. Um, and we do, we do. Rose actually does outspeed uh, the F10A as well. So let's go ahead and. Let's do, ooh. Let's go for a provoke on Dizzy. Or defense break. If I get defense break, that's even better. All right, very nice. We're gonna push up our units here. I can leave Seedom alone. Um, because Selene can take care of her. We're gonna go ahead and kill off the, actually, we're gonna nuke her with LQC. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and kill off this. Okay, so get rid of her. Dizzy's not going to be a huge threat because she's provoked. LQC can nuke the Dizzy, or not the Dizzy, the Seedom, so we do splash damage onto the Blingo. <clears throat> Alright, very nice. 
And the Blingo can... Ooh, actually, Blingo can cleanse Dizzy, right? I'm not sure about his kit. He can cleanse and give invincibility? Yeah, that's what he does. Okay. Very nice. Very nicely played. Greater attack buff there, too. Okay. Pretty good. Got a stun on my Rose, but that's okay. What's going on? The Dizzy is the only one I can go into. Oh, counter Dizzy. Oh, these stuns. Uh-oh. We might be in trouble here. Um, this Blingo could potentially kill. Blingo can kill. He can kill somebody. Or not. Oh, actually. He should have targeted the Selene. I think when he did that, he should have clicked Selene. Just so his follow-up attack would go into her. Ah, but there you guys go. Yeah. When you're when you're um, using an AoE skill like that, you always want to click on the target. If you have a follow-up. E example, Blingo. Um, you want to click on the unit that you want to attack. If you just double-click the AoE, it'll likely just target um, a random unit. Alright, so there we go. Uh, three for three so far, and we're not even 20 minutes into the video. So we'll go for another one here. And we'll see how we'll see how we uh, how we go. We might do five games in this one. We'll do the other five placement matches in a second video, uh, just so we don't we don't keep these videos too long. All right, so got another match here, and this guy's also in placement, so that's pretty good. We've been using slow cleaves like this entire in, entire time. I, I'm really I'm a huge fan of slow cleaves. It's actually really fun uh, because you can bring in units that you normally don't for like super fast cleave comps, and it also means I'm less reliant on Arbor Vildred to do things. Ooh, Faith Slotica. All right, how do we want to do this? We're still gonna go Arby, right? Arby. And do I want to tank this one out? Faithless Lytica. Hmm. We can go... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna hold off on Kron pick. I'm gonna hold off on the Kron pick. We'll see if he picks like Sidom or something. We can go Selene. But I think if we go Clurry... Clurry might be a good pick. Or I could just end up banning this. We'll see what he picks afterwards. But I'll go with... Uh, I can go with ML Rin too, actually. Ooh, I can go with ML Rin. Does that open me up for some good plays later? I think so. We'll go with ML Rin as a speed contester. Okay. And it also gives me immunity, so it's not it's not always a bad option to have. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Because I can pick... If he picks too many squishy units, if he goes like Sidom here, we'll just go Selene. Ooh, actually. ML Luluka. All right, Selene. Easy. Uh, what else do we want to do? We can go for... Ooh, we can go for a Rose. We go for a Kron, actually. Kron would be pretty good here. All right, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll, we'll pick, hold off on our last pick here. We'll see what he goes for. But he's probably going to ban the Selene. Because he has Emma Luluka and he has Oxlots. So he's probably, you know, he's, he's going to be in danger, right? And I took the Kron pick away. Because if he picks Kron here, it's actually pretty good against my draft. So... Selene would also target Kron because he most likely would have the highest attack, so it's a good bait. SSB is interesting. Sidom? If he goes Sidom, it's guaranteed he's banning Selene, right? So all we have to do is ban the Flitica, and I think we're good. Uh, if he bans Selene, though, ML Rin's taking first turn. There's no way his Flitica outspeeds or Oxlots outspeeds my ML Rin. Right. Ooh, Judge Kise. Ooh, very interesting. Oxlots into Judge Kise? Huh. Huh, speed imprint from Sid. Huh. That is quite interesting. Okay, speed imprint from Sid. Alright, how are we gonna do this? We only have one unit to speak and test, although it looks like he's banning Selene. Alright, he's definitely banning Selene. There's no way he's not. Uh, so, how do I do this? How do I do this? Dizzy? Do I go Dizzy? Dizzy, SSB? Dizzy, SSB? We'll go SSB here. Oh, no, it picked Dizzy for me. All right, apparently we're going with Dizzy. So, I wanted the SSB, but that is perfectly fine. I took too long to draft there. Uh, what do we want to ban? What are we going to ban? Ban the Flitica. 
We ban the Flitica. Selene gets banned. We stun the Oxlots. Mulu's gonna kill the Arby, though. Okay, I think we still have to ban the Flitica here. I think she provides too much protection against Arby and Kron. A well times. Ooh, actually, he banned the Emma Rin! Uh oh. This guy's taking turn one, isn't he? He's gonna boost somebody up. Celine's gonna proc. Very interesting. Alright, I don't I don't know how this one's gonna go. We might lose this one. I think we're losing this one. Um Yeah, I think we're I think we're dead. I think we're dead here. Wow, that's uh that was not expected. I thought he was gonna ban the Celine. There's no way, right? There's Mulu and Oxlots here. Oxlots and Judge Kisei. Unless it's a fast Judge Kisei. Right? If it's like a 200 speed Judge Kisei, then we might be dead. Sid might also be a huge factor here. So we will see. All, all three of its units are pretty fast, yeah. Judge Kisei's back there, though. Is he gonna gamble? Okay, no, he's not gonna gamble. He's just gonna hit. Um, Mulu's gonna hit the uh, Selene, right? Or are you gonna kill the Arby? He has to kill the Arby. Okay, good. It's gonna kill regardless. He doesn't need the attack buff. Yeah, it's gonna kill regardless, which is fine. Sid's gonna- ooh, Sid's gonna kill Selene, right? Oh no, he's gonna go for Dizzy. Whoa, he one-shot Dizzy? Oh my god, that's actually quite insane. Uh, for him to one-shot Dizzy is actually quite insane. Uh, because- because of one thing, my Dizzy has, uh, I think 17,000- almost 18,000 HP and 1,500 defense. So that's quite spooky. We're gonna have to kill the, um... We're gonna have to kill the Sid here. Oxlots can't Oxlots can't boost because uh, my Celine's still alive, right? So Oxlots can't boost, and uh, we should be okay here. Yeah, he's just gonna keep hitting me, right? Hopefully we dodge. He might soul burn. He gets two chances to kill. Get one more chance. Ah, oh, dang it! He crit. He crit. Ooh, that feels bad, dude. That feels bad. Now he can boost Mulu, uh, Mulu, and she can boost herself. Okay, he's just gonna cycle a little bit. He's gonna proc my immortality. Is that what's gonna happen? Mulu might actually win this. Oh wait, she does have Dingus Orb. Or Dignus Orb, whatever it is. Soulburn and okay, he's gonna pop my immortality here. Uh, I can extend it though. I can extend it. I can actually just do this, right? I could just kill this Luluka. Because I don't want her to get into stealth and then potentially live in AoE. I'm pretty sure I can kill this Oxlots. It's not, a, it's not a very tanky ox loss. 13,000 HP. I have an attack buff. So we should be okay. Alright, we should be okay. It all comes down to this... Oh, we don't have a soul burn. Uh-oh, actually. We do not have a soul burn. Does this kill? Oh, it doesn't kill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, he's got this game. Rest in peace. Oh, man. Miscalculated. But that's alright. That's alright. Uh, maybe I should have maybe I should have asked three the ox lots, but again, if if Mulu went into uh, stealth, I don't think I was killing with Kron, right? I didn't have a soul burn or anything. If I had a soul burn there, uh, would have been a different story. Well, that's unfortunate. Well played by him. Again, Dizzy was a Dizzy was a mistake. <laughs> Dizzy was a mistake. She didn't really do anything. Although I guess her existing redirected the Sid's attack. He probably could have killed Celine there with Sid. So. Alright, anyway, this will be the last game of this, uh, this video here, the fifth placement- okay, never mind, there we go guys, that is actually gonna be it, <laughs> we won 4 out of 5, actually is perfect, we're about 25 minutes into the video, so we're, we're just gonna stop here, 80% win rate, 4 wins, 1 loss, we'll be back with another episode of RTA with the last 5 placement matches next week, so please stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.